Hello boys and girls, welcome to part two of our Curly Caterpillar letters. Part two is going to look at the letters D, G, E and F. So each and every one of these letters begins at the top right and it follows the arrow in the anti-clockwise direction which means it doesn't go in the same direction as the clock hands do. So with our d, d, d at the top, we start on the red dot and we follow the arrow round as we go. And to write it, we go around the dinosaur's bottom, all the way up his tall neck and down his tail. Starting on the red dot, around the dinosaur's bottom, all the way up his tall neck and down his tail. And again, around the dinosaur's bottom, all the way up his tall back and down his tail. Then we go to the g, g, g. For the g, we go on the red dot, follow the red arrow in the anti-clockwise direction, around the girl, and give her a curl. Make sure her curl comes below the line because the g is a descender. It comes, it descends below the line. It comes underneath the line. Around the girl and give her a curl. Around the girl and give her a curl. I think I like this one the best because my tail was a bit wobbly here. And it was angled here. It went on a bit of a diagonal, whereas this one goes straight down. Let's have a look at my d, d, d. I think this one was my favourite out of my d, d, d. I had a bit of a wobble on this backbone here, but I like this one. He's got a nice round tummy and a tall backbone. I could improve him though by making sure that his flick sits on the line. This is our et. Now et can be very tricky because it starts here, it's, it's, a, it's a break of the rule almost. It starts on the left hand side and moves out, then up and around. So we're going to start at the left hand side and follow the arrow going out to the right, up, above and down below. So we've cut off the top and scooped out the egg. I went a bit wonky on his side there. I wonder if I can do better this time. Cut off the top and scoop out the egg. That was a little bit better. But I've left a gap here and it needs to be joined, doesn't it? Let's try again. Cut off the top and scoop out the egg. Oh, that one was better, definitely. And last but not least, cut off the top and scoop out the egg. I definitely think this one was my favourite. It was quite hard, wasn't it? Making sure that his backbone and his the beginning point was joined and making sure that the curve was correct. So again, we start at the left, we move to the right, up and all the way around. And then finally, we have our F. Now, our F doesn't have a curly bottom. Lots of schools might do it with a curly bottom, but we at Ravensworth don't. So we start on the red dot, we go down the stem and across the leaves. And again, down the stem and across the leaves. Starting on the dot, up and down the stem, then across the leaves. Once more, up, down the stem. Oh, this is free right, this, isn't it? It didn't have a dot and across the leaves. That's what you could do as a challenge. Try one without the starting dot once you've got the hang of it. Now our F is an ascender, it sits on the line and it stands above. E goes between the lines. G is a descender, it comes below the line, just like a P would. And also the D is an ascender, that sits on the line and goes above with his tall backbone. So there you go. There is our second lot of curly caterpillar letters. I wonder if you could try some at home too. Have fun. Bye bye.